hey guys welcome back to my channel so today finally we are having part two of my three-part video and today i'm showing you how to make a flawless frontal wig for small heads i have a small head and i know there are many people out there who have small heads and have difficulty making a frontal wig and i'll show you how to get this flawless look easy peasy in less than an hour all right first thing you're going to need is an elastic wig band a mesh dome cap i personally like using mesh caps because they breathe and that way if you sweat from your head it wouldn't you know smell of course a um thread i use nylon because it doesn't tug or rip at the lace a needle i personally like using a curved needle it is easier for me scissors and a canvas head i highly recommend to use a canvas head no matter what type of head head you have i suggest to use a canvas head because a styrofoam head will kind of give you different sizes every single time but if you measure your head and get the canvas head that matches your head size you will get the perfect wig every single time now when it comes to placing your frontal this is very very important i highly 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 suggest to give yourself an inch over where the wig cap lays this way when you cut the wig cap that's under the hair you have more lace to work with and it will um, make sure that your your lace doesn't fold when you glue it down you know like sometimes when your lace has that those ripples that's because the lace is too small and it's like placed too far back so you want to give yourself extra lace it may seem a little big at the beginning but that's why we have the elastic dome caps to hold it back now when you're aligning the back of the lace you want to make sure that where the clear or the thick stitching is lines up with the base of the wig cap if that makes sense you want the end of that um, strip to match with the ending of your where your wig cap ends that way it will be a perfect fit and there will be no curves and your lace will lay flat and here you'll just see me I like to sew down the middle first and then I go about sewing down the sides this way the middle is intact because I know exactly where I want it to be placed and it won't shift or move when I'm t sewing down the sides Today. So right here you can see a better look where I'm aligning that thick strip right at the ending of where my wig cap lays. So I'm braiding all the hair to move it out the way because of course I don't want any hair in the back of my lace snagging, you know. So I'm just doing these little messy braids so that I will have an easier sewing application. And yeah, we're just going to sew on.
right, now this part is very, very important. This part is what allows your lace to lay flat when you're doing like ponytails, high ponytails, whatever, or even middle parts. It allows it to lay flat. I cut, well, I sewed everything into a U shape until I had this rectangular area, and then I cut pieces of the tracks to fit within the rectangles, and I just place them horizontally all the way up until I get to the lace, and then I sew that, close it up, and then we're done. Yeah. Guys, please bear with me in this next scene, okay? When you're making wigs, you understand you gotta be comfortable. And I was wearing jeans and I just needed to be comfy, so my zipper is open, but let's not pay attention to that. We're paying attention to the wig and how to make wigs. And the key point that I wanted to make here is not my zipper, but the fact that <laughs> I do not cut my thread. I continue using the same thread that I used from the previous track before. This way is less time consuming. I don't have to stop, cut, tie, secure it, and then move on to the next one. Sometimes when you're in a rush, you don't even secure it as well as you should. And then you later on have to, you know, retighten that um, track. So I just continue using the same thread until I can no longer use it. And I'm forced to cut it and reapply a new thread. So then we placed our final tracks to close out that little gap that you guys seen there and we have our lace frontal wig your frontal should look like this and do you not see how flawless this frontal looks i did not pluck anything that's why there's not a video of me plucking i did not pluck a single thing off this lace this is how the lace came in this chambray hair honestly i was just like blown away and i'm just like oh my gosh like this frontal was so good and it blended so well with my skin complexion and it's a brazilian body wave you can see how well it looks and how natural the wig looks it's not too full at the top and it gets fuller at the bottom and i hope you guys learned you know some new tips and tricks on how to do frontals if you learned anything new that you didn't know before leave those comments down below so i can see i'm going to try to bring out more and more hair videos because I feel like a lot of people do not know that I know how to do hair. That was my first love before makeup. This is finally part two. I know you guys have been waiting for so long and I'm sorry, but have a look out for part three, which will be coming very soon. And this will be my full review on the chambray hair, how well it's kept up because I've been wearing it for three whole months. Honestly, guys, three months. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you all. Bye.